okay, it's going. Yeah, how's it going? It's going good. Um, we're about to see Whiplash. This is our. Oh shoot, I got a text. It's our second review, and um, yeah, all I the trailer makes it look super intense. Um, definitely looks like an actor's movie. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be about two these two characters sort of battling each other. Yeah, the uh, music teacher and the drummer. Mm -hmm. From what you've showed me in the trailers. Yeah, and um, it's another movie. It's another movie about being an artist. We saw Birdman, and that's that kind of like you know what I mean. Sort of like this idea of what it means to be that, and but this one's more about what it trying to achieve perfection. It looks like maybe we'll like it. Yeah, so I'm looking I'm looking forward to it. I expect I expect it to be really intense, but I I don't know how it's gonna end. Like probably drum solo. Yeah, like it has this whole the it looks like this whole movie about like a teaching method that looks extremely questionable and we'll see yeah. how what it how it turns out what the has to say about that we got drinks i got a rat bastard and it says don't be a dick drink it i got a ginger beer called cock and bull all Looking right forward to drinking it and uh, i guess we'll come back to you after the movie and we'll see what our impressions are yeah, maybe we'll with some friends too we'll see you after the fact Bye. one movie later so uh we just it's walked cool. out of whiplash yeah Holy shit. That was intense is the best word I think that, everyone agrees yeah, upon. That is the most intense movie I have seen in a really long time. The first... Well, we can do spoilers since we... Are we going to do spoilers Yeah, again? that's fine. Okay, so the first... I think. Uh, first thoughts come to my head, I thought about Full Metal Jacket and like a drill sergeant. Um, a character like J.K. Simmons, Simmons sort of played this... This really, you know what I mean, awful almost awful teacher but like I did not like him the most movie and in the end I, I don't know if it's supposed to be ambiguous but to me in the end it felt like there was this he was doing this the, everything he did even the very last thing he did where he tricks him into the band to embarrass him was all to get him to push himself yeah the whole thing and I don't think I'm wrong on that I don't know what do you think okay if the kid in this movie he's very he's so passionate about drumming you know, and uh, the, the teacher's basically, if the kid wasn't talented enough, the teacher would've just been a psycho the whole movie. Mm -hmm, if, exactly. it didn't, if, this, if it didn't work out, but the kid just so happened to be that driven to see past his madness, you know, his teaching methods of insanity. And it worked out, but if it was just, an, you know, if it was real life, this guy would be. Yeah, <laughs> I, but he, I. Yeah, like, and then, okay, the, the little, you see him human for a second when one of his students uh, yeah. died. Yeah. But was it okay? He said the kid got into a car accident. Yeah, so he lied about. He lied the about that, but he actually he actually hung himself. The kid. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, the character. It's day like it's we, it's. Should we say like the background of the story a little bit for people that aren't even going to see this movie? Yeah, sure. It's a kid that's in uh, what's the school name? Uh, Schaefer's. The Schaefer's it's in New York. Um, music school. He's trying to be the very best, you know. Yeah, it's He's conservatory in, school, so it's just it's all about it's all about doing the craft like there's it's not academic at all and it's all about the music he's in a lower grade uh, band class and he gets the, the teacher of the higher one that's amazing mm -hmm. scopes him out and he brings him in and then basically he right he's like a like Nazi regime on how he conducts the students and everything mm -hmm. like it's, it feels like they all stand up when he comes in a room it feels like he's a drill sergeant that's the first thing I could that came to mind and everyone he demands he demands attention and respect whenever he walks in the room and J.K. Simmons plays it perfectly like and essentially like his credo would you say like his goal is to find the next great musician his I guess his job technically is just a composer for that band group uh -huh. but he's trying to keep the way he conducts and does his teaching he wants to try and push them until they're great and amazing yeah. That's, yeah that's his like philosophy I guess is what he says yeah, and that and this is a movie. This movie is a character movie. It's all about these two characters and what and what their drive is to do. For me, Miles is for Miles Teller's character, Andrew, it's to become one of the greats. Like the whole movie he's saying he wants to be one of the great drummers. And for this teacher, he says it at that dinner table scene before he invites him in the band in the end. And he says, "Well, I tried. My, you know, as a teacher, I was mm -hmm. my goal isn't just to be like 
you know what I mean? Yeah. A facilitator of things. It's my, it's to push people, is what he says. And there's, there's a certain philosophy that I believe that I agree with in what he's saying. But I don't know if I agree with his methods exactly. But yeah. I, yeah, I agreed with that, that philosophy of brilliance that a teacher should challenge us. And like in the end, yeah, yeah, I know, not like that, but in the end, like. When your students are going, like, killing themselves. Yeah. But, like, but to both characters, that's fine, because, like, Andrew just rides off, like, empathy mm -hmm. in parts, and, you know, they have a dinner scene where the, his other, I guess, well, I don't know if they're cousins or something like that, other kids that are in college are talking about their football accomplishments and stuff, and he's just treating everyone at the table like shit, basically. Yeah. And, I mean, the way they structured this movie and cut it, it really is... It builds to this. It builds to this amazing, satisfying ending. Like it's you know the, the most movie, satisfying ending I've ever the movie felt in a, movie in a long is time. Like a song. Yeah, because it has it's that like, dip right yeah. before that ending, and it's like. And then all of a sudden you start. And the movie. Okay, the movie started with the snare. Uh huh. And it ends with that snare. It ends with the snare. That oh. was pretty cool. There was some good moments. Yeah, the ending was so good. Oh my god. Yeah, and it, they did it so perfectly. They do this big build with the intensity, and then bam, it's over. And you think, I'm, I wasn't sure if the movie was going to end. I, I literally felt like, I don't know what's going to happen next in this movie. And that, I didn't expect that from this movie. I that, kinda that like, look they give each other at the end, we're both psychopaths. All right, yeah. this worked out. <laughs> kind of. Well, we're both like, all of a sudden they yeah. understand each other. Yeah, they get it. Like this relationship, it's although it's dangerous and... You know what I mean? Like someone, like like it shows like that. There's a kid that killed himself over this. Yeah. But these two, like you see their looks in their eyes. They look at each other, and you're like, holy shit, this relationship works for these two. And I, it's fucked up. But here they are, and he's, I don't know. But it almost felt like it felt like in your like when he came back, like he he he, he gives him a song. He, he so this the ending is he invites him into this band in the end after he's been fired from the school and all this and he thinks he's going to play some of the songs he was practicing in school like Whiplash and Caravan and then right at the show he announces a different song and he has no sheet music and he just fucks up the whole song yeah he, he uh you and you think it the way he says it yeah and he walks he walks off stage and you think that's you're like shit yeah no and he I, was, I knew you were the fucker that turned me in uh huh and then you think he's just throwing him in the fire but he's actually like uh huh giving him a chance to shine well I don't know I guess that's like interpretation well yeah well I think you think he's gonna quit and he and his dad like his dad hugs him backstage like it's better he's like he's like no I'm going back on he goes right back on and then right when he's announced about to announce the second song which I assume is gonna be another song that he didn't know he just starts playing drums and interrupts him and he and he, he looks at the band he's like I'll cue you and he cues them to the songs that he knows and like yeah. it's like this big fuck you he even says it he mouths fuck you to the teacher as he starts playing that was great that, and, yeah <laughs> that understanding was perfect yeah and then even then you feel like it's still a battle it's still a battle they're pissed at each other and then all of a sudden the, there's this churn with the teacher and he's like and he's like that's the and all it's almost like this is what I wanted all along this is why I did it, that, it like, felt drive that way and that, yeah um, and they looked at each other and there was no battle anymore all of a sudden they were working together and yeah, I was all like sudden, holy equals, shit all and sudden. this was so it was so intense and so moving I was moved several times in in in, in uh, ways I can't articulate. Yeah, it's difficult. But how would we rate this one? I guess we're just gonna like rate it on some other weird type every time. We didn't even rate the last one correctly. Yeah, sort of I mean we haven't. That person just threw stuff out of the car. Yeah, oh. they littered. Um, oh, we don't have a rating system, but I would say this is next to Birdman. This is the best movie I've seen all year. Like, it's it's. It's definitely one of the greatest stories about a teacher and student relationship I've ever seen. For sure. There's okay, plenty but of those. like someone that couldn't handle that sort of intensity going into this movie. Yeah, it's it is in like and, and and mind you like people that aren't musicians also that might not get the same cuz we we me and Sean have played music growing up. Yeah. I still think I think anyone not can that relate level to this. At all, though. Yeah, anyone can relate to this if you have if there's if you have something something you have a drive for a yeah. craft that you want to, you want to be brilliant at something that's true it can go and, toward anything but and you and if you've had any kind of student teacher relationship and you know I guess like any person that would be sort of put off wouldn't be seeing this movie anyway yeah it's not one of those things like oh this is on cable yeah well I, I yeah I mean part of why we're doing this is because I feel like certain a movie like this is probably you, not you be... should see it in the theaters yeah 
this is it's incredible it's an incredible film the music is a character in the in the movie they have this great jazz music playing and it, it's so songs, intense yeah I, you know what i'm wondering how awesome the soundtrack would be if we get some of these songs yeah I, it yeah. could be cool it'd be it'd be great but yeah it's definitely one of the best movies uh, of the year and i would i would buy i would buy that on blu-ray for sure and like i always say i'm i don't buy movies anymore mm -hmm. but i paid for a ticket i think you should too it'd be worth if you haven't seen it and if you have seen it and you just want to hear us riff about stuff cool yeah. thanks for watching if you know just want to talk about it sounds good to don't me. you have other friends that are like movie goers see i'm lucky i have sean yeah so go see it you know people don't have the the friend the movie buff friends so you have to go see stuff alone you know you can come to our channel see if our opinions are like yours or not mm -hmm. excellent cool well sounds good you guys have a good day this was uh brandon and sean with before and after the fact and uh Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, keep watching. Bye.